Welcome to my Lego city. I've been working on this layout for the past nine months, so if you'd like to see how I got this far, make sure to check out my previous updates. However, on this video, I figured we'd do a full city overview and talk about some of the future plans. So if that interests you, make sure to stick around. So starting off over here on the left side of the city, we're looking at Birch Books, and I think what I'm gonna do to these buildings is change the lighting up as well as add like the lamp post lighting. That's one of the few modular sets I have where I haven't done the full lighting myself. And then over here, by the Parisian restaurant, there's this garbage truck and I wanna probably add a backdrop, just connecting these two buildings, covering up a bit of that window. And then we have our life, our nightlife way down here. And it's really not that populated right now, I'd like to add a bunch of signs to this alleyway, as well as detail and tile the floor. And then on this side, we have a concert going on, and I might like to fill in the back where those pillars are, just to hide a, a bit more of that wiring. This is one of my favorite parts of the city because you can see everything just if you keep on going further and turning your head. And I just think that adds a bunch of depth. Now I'm still not sure what to do. I have about three base plates right here and I'm not sure if I should just add some low rise buildings or what to go here. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below. Looking upwards, eventually I'm gonna be replacing that up house with the skyscraper I'm working on. And I think that'll look pretty nice next to the Daily Bugle. I also might be moving the Sanctum Sanctorum over here with that gas station, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Another one of my favorite scenes is under here where I have some construction workers and then I made the water out of those blue lightsaber pieces. All in all, this road is actually a bit more narrow than the main roads down here. And that's just because I didn't have enough room on that shelf to fit a main road and the modulars. And then depending how my skyscraper turns out, I might actually add a scene down under the mountain back here as well. I just gotta make sure I can see it, you know? And then speaking of those mountains, they're looking pretty nice, but you can see where they connect. And then there's a bit of repetitiveness. So I have a bunch of dark gray slopes and I plan on adding a bunch of detail to that. And then rounding off this side over here, cause it's a bit flat when you go to the cave. And one of the next projects I'm going to be working on is actually updating this video and comic store and this toy store because I just think there's a bit too much spacing right here for both of them and I want to add more detail. And I also have to finish tiling off inside that comic store as well. So that's going to be one of the projects I work on next video. And then you can see right here where there's some of the misalignment from the table. And so I'm going to be, when I take those stores out to remodel them, I'm going to have to fix that problem as well. Now I took that um, BTS set and I made kind of a built-in version of it. And then I tiled off this front and I like how that looks. But I think I might have to cover up some of those studs there in the back. But I really like this part of the city as well. Now moving to the middle of the city, this is actually where I started building and that was one of my first attempts at a mock and that's one of those three in one sets where I built two of them and then kind of modularized it. And then after doing that, I added an alleyway, which I still need to tile off, but I do like how that backdrop turned out as well as the food truck. And then this was one of the second buildings I worked on and inside is actually kind of a bit bare. But I do have a bunch of minifigures on the way, and I plan on populating a lot of this part, as well as tiling off this. And then we have the median, and I'm not really sure if I like the orange and pink. I've had it here in the city for a while, but I used to have some trees, and I felt like that took away from a bunch of the vehicles and some of these front stores. So let me know what you think, if you have any ideas for what I could put in this median. I was thinking maybe a bike lane. It's only about four studs in width. So let me know if you have any ideas. 
And we're about halfway done. I've turned on the lights so we could see a bit better because I don't entirely have this whole section lit up. Now I was talking about moving the Sanctum Sanctorum over here instead of this rebreakable model because it's kind of curved and it has a back alley. And I think that would make this alleyway look a bit better. That alleyway is one of the newest mocks I've been working on, and I'm still waiting on some pieces so I can finish it. But here's a bit of a bird's eye view. And then I have this apartment building too, which I want to update the lights on. I've done the pet store, and I also added an alleyway in between them with some clothes hanging out to dry and then a bunch of lights. A few more projects that I'm gonna tackle in the near future is turning all this to light gray and then covering up this part of the shelf. I just think that adds a bunch or a lot to the city. When you look at it from afar, this left side looks so much more complete than the right. And then that brings me to this area down here. It's one of the few places where I could add probably two, three base plates worth of, worth of underground stuff but I'm still working out some ideas. I was thinking maybe a farm, maybe like a town center with a fountain, but it's right here next to this train station and coffee shop. I do need to build out the deck a little bit more and add some more seating, but that's a project for the future. And speaking of projects for the future, here's the beach I've been working on. And when I say I've been working on, I mean I worked on it about six months ago and haven't touched it since. I ran out of pieces to integrate the road to the beach, and so I need a bunch of tan pieces for that. But I'd also like to change up the water a bit and probably add an angle, maybe some jetty rocks over here, maybe a pier to fish off of. So that's definitely in the future. I've been turning a lot of my attention over here to this forestry area, which is basically all new. I do have this house lit up, but I need to find a place to plug it in. So I need to pull out all these drawers and do some cable management for a bit. And then this is a cabin I've worked on recently. And I'm really liking how it turned out. I was able to section off the lights inside and so I think it looks pretty good. It was looking a little rough at first. And then that tree is all messed up because I've been sliding in and out this alley that I've been working on. Another improvement I'd like to make would be to this waterfall. I think actually adding some rock up above the water would add a lot, maybe make it look like a cave. And then in the future, I would love to add like a backdrop made out of like uh, Lego art. So really that's about it for the city. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below and if you like it, make sure to stick around.